cutting in is another way of controlling your opponent or trapping without grabbing or slapping. For the right punch, my opponent is answering with a left inward block. Before my opponent has a chance to react to the block, I deliver a left punch. Cutting into the outside of the blocking arm and hitting to the head. As my left punch retracts, it grabs or lopsides the arm, keeping it extended, allowing me to cut in with a right punch and hit again. The concept of hitting is demonstrated here. If you just look at what I'm doing, jab, cross, jab, or right, left, right, I'm using attack by combination, and it works whether my opponent is blocking or not. The dummy is one of the best ways to practice cutting in. It offers a lot of resistance and it keeps your structure very economic. It is important to go as hard and as fast as you can. A human partner won't be able to take the abuse. Another example is containing your opponent's arms inside your arms, cutting in and hitting. Riposte is a fencing term, a counterattack. Your opponent attacks, you wait till the hit is committed, and then deflect it at the last moment. The hand or the weapon that's doing the deflecting instantly returns the attack. In this sequence, I deliver a right punch. My opponent delivers a left punch, deflecting my punch off target. I do a jut sow or jerking hand. My opponent answers with springing energy and then grabs or lop sows my arm and delivers a back fist. I answer with a riposte with my left hand. In this drill, one partner is feeding or delivering cross energy or blocking, striking the arm first from outside and then from inside. The idea is to fit in with a force or contact, going with it and coming back to hit. Economy of motion is one of the concepts in the drill. After the movement has been acquired, this drill is done with the eyes closed to develop a higher level of sensitivity. The block is delivered inside the arm here to show that you got to be able to move one way or the other on this motion. Then you pick up the pace. Now the block moves to the outside and then into the inside, picking up the pace and not letting your opponent know what you're going to deliver next so that you have a fitting in process.
This is a simple move. I jab, my opponent blocks, and I go around, and I hit. Bridging is to bridge over or under your opponent's arms, looking for the advantage to control the straight line to the target. When bridging, you also are cutting into your opponent's arms, controlling your opponent as you try to hit. This drill demands well-conditioned arms so that you can take the contact. Economy, no wide motions, simplicity, just think of hitting. Do this drill slowly at the beginning. In match leads, right to right, and then in unmatched leads, right to left. Use the imagination, consider all the possibilities, then fit in with your partner. This is a drill that makes your movement and your partners one. In this application, I'm punching outside the arm, and then outside the arm again, then inside the arm, and then inside the arm again, to outside the arm, to outside the arm again. Springing energy, harmonious spring, jet sow, or jerking hand are two drills in one. The person with the inside position is doing the harmonious spring. The person with the outside position is doing the jut sow or jerking hand. For the person doing the harmonious spring, you have to imagine a coil spring attached to the back of the upper arm, just above the elbow. The other end of the spring is attached to the rib cage of the body. This is a compression spring, about six inches long. The type of spring that has to be pushed against or collapsed so it will push back. In other words, when you pull down or jerk the arm, it collapses the spring under the arm. When you turn the arm loose, it springs up and forward at the same time. The object of the drill is to jut or jerk the arm out of the way and try and hit with the same hand. The springing arm is to snap back and close your opponent's line of attack, hitting with the same hand. Bong Sao or raised elbow deflection drill is practiced in unmatched stances and starts with a grab or a lop sao to the outside of your opponent's wrist. Your opponent doesn't resist the grab and flows with the force using your energy to raise the elbow, deflecting your punch. <laughs> 